this is my last morning. Well, it's not my last morning here, but it's the start of the last day here. I fly out early tomorrow morning, so I'll be at the airport this time tomorrow morning. So I want to make the most of today, so I'm going in as much as possible. So I got up while it was dark and headed out while it was still dark. And I've just driven over here on the, to the most easterly point on the island, which I've never been to before, to watch the sunrise. But as it's really cloudy today, there's not much of a sunrise. It's still nice out here. But it would have been nicer if it was a clear day. It would have been magical, I reckon. This area down here is known as Ball Bay. It's where the tankers come in, the ships come in to to give the island its diesel, petrol, and gas. This is really deep, apparently, out here in this bay. It just drops off, so they have to come into the bay and anchor in here. And they float their lines out to the shoreline and they hook up to pipes over here. You've got big gas tanks down in there where all the gas goes. And up here there's huge tanks for petrol and diesel, I guess. And then the trucks just come down here and fill up from down here. Take them back up to the petrol stations and the, the other companies up there. It's pretty clever the way they operate everything on the island. Very unique the way they do things. They've just had to work out their own systems to make the island work because they're so far away from everyone else. Get out of the way, dopey. This is what all the houses sort of originally looked like when they were built along here. This one here fell into ruin, it was too bad to be restored apparently. But all the others have been restored and look like that these days. Quite good condition. People live in them. This one was too bad to restore. It's a funny design. Looks like another wall was there. Just entered the cemetery. Yeah, check out some of these really old graves. They're right down the end, the closest to the ocean is where all the really old ones are. fresh grave over there that's just been dug in the last day because someone on the island died <clears throat> only two days ago. There it is. I'll go right down to the beachfront first and then walk my way back. Very basic indeed. This one here is falling apart. Outside the gate here, hopefully there's a plaque so I can read about it. This mound here, a little bit of a convict revolt. And they murdered some people and 15 of them were tried, convicted and hung. So underneath this mound here is where they were all buried, unmarked. It's called the Murderer's Mound. headstones here. These are very basic, just rocks. A couple of them have crosses engraved in them. Some of them have some initials. 
1834, 1834, 1835, 1842. These few here I've just noticed are the Christian family that were born on Pitcairn Island and the first settlers that came here, the first free settlers after the convict settlement was ended. This section here is the Quintal section by the look of it. Quintals were also one of the families that were on the bounty. And went to Pitcairn Island before coming here. Buffets were another one from the bounty. This area here is on the north side of the island. It's called Cascade Bay. It's the alternative wharf that they use when the weather's too rough on the south side of Kingston. The ships come in and dock out there and then they use the lighters, which are the small boats, to go out to the, the bigger ships and bring everything into the crane. So when it's too rough at Kingston, they, they come around here and do it over here. This is the site of an old whaling station. The Americans uh, set up this, well, I don't know if they set it up, but there was a whaling station here back in the 1800s or something. And um, there's a lot of Americans here working in the whaling station. And the Americans brought to the island the holiday of Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day holiday is still separate, is celebrated here on Norfolk Island and it's the only place outside of the USA where it's, where it's celebrated apparently. one and only waterfall on the island. This track's closed, I've just jumped over a fence to get in here to get a good photo of the waterfall. I can understand why the track's closed. No fencing, past dodgy as. A little trickle over there. It goes through this little flat area and then falls over into the ocean. This is an area called Anson Bay. This is the last touristy thing, sightseeing thing that I'm doing on the island. I'm walking all the way down to the beach down there. This is one of the first places we came on our bus tour of the island on Sunday. I thought, yep, I'm gonna have to come back here. This looks really nice. There's a nice little beach down there with a cave. But I hadn't got back here, so. Now I'm doing it. Got a little gate here to keep the cows out. Oh. Have a look over the edge here. I'm on my way all around down there. Let's see how long it takes. Well, it took me 10 minutes to get down to the bottom, roughly. So it'll take me a bit longer to get back up. At the moment up there, they're preparing for a uh, Tahitian dance and dinner on the side of the cliff. They've got all tables and chairs set out. And they're having a show up there tonight.
This here must be the Anson Bay Surf Life Saving Club, I think. Either that or it's an old disused cable station. Well, I made it back to the top. It took me about 12 minutes. Not bad, but I'm puffed now. You can see over there where they're sitting up for the dinner tonight. Well, here I am, getting ready to go to the airport. I packed up everything. It's 5.38 in the morning. I've been up for about an hour. I've got to be at the airport in 20 minutes. So, I just wanted to show everyone at home one thing. This is the local telephone directory. And in here you've got everyone's nicknames. So you've got Cowboy, Crowbar, um, diesel, honey, honky dory, cooter, lettuce leaf, little poo, here you got cocky, cookie, cane toad, over here you got truck, I met him, went to his house, clip top property, it was magnificent, wolf, wiggy willy, Quack, Puss, Pumpkin, Pumper, Macca, Muff, Mutty. So you can just bring them up if you know, don't know their real name, but you know their nickname. There's their numbers. Pretty cool. Only on Norfolk Island. Time to leave the island.